what the washing machine looks like. This is cool. I guess it says right there in the box that it's yellow. It's on a styrofoam base and we've got a hose that goes around. Okay, so I've got my user manual super compact automatic washer. I think it works well that we still have a working dryer, so as long as I can get this running, I should be able to catch up on our laundry pretty quickly. Aaron came home because of course I was panicking over the flooding in the house. I mean, honestly, this looks really cool. Okay, so this was inside the base. That looks like it's important. I mean, this really is cute. Look at this. Oh, you can see I still have some water coming out from the inside of the washing machine. Quite a difference in terms of the size comparison, but it looks really nice, honestly. That's a little fancy looking machine. Here's what the back of the machine looks like. Fortunately, we have a plug right here. Goodbye, rubber ducky. Super compact automatic washer. I don't know that any of this is really important, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in its spot. I figure the hose probably goes here. Well, goodness gracious me, look at that. Oh my gosh, it actually fits. Now, eventually, of course, I will be getting rid of this larger washer, but for now, ugh, it's super convenient that this fits well. Okay, so this hose actually is already attached to the unit down here. We're gonna go ahead, what are we doing? So essentially I'm, I'm loosening up the hot water. From here, it just says don't use super hot 120 degrees. So I'm assuming that means it is using hot. Doesn't ever actually say. <laughs> Those hoses look really heavy duty. This is the hose we're gonna be putting it on. Wow, okay. So you gotta be careful, there's the little plastic teeth and this thing doesn't fit. Oh. So I'm trying to gently tighten it. You gotta tighten it enough where it's not gonna spurt out water everywhere. I don't know why I never noticed that there was a tree in there. Because you've probably installed zero of these and I've installed all of them. I have installed zero of them, that is right. It's a picture of what I'm going to look like, smiling, putting my clothes in. Of course, the this washer is has it. That's me. That's the happy washing machine. Hmm. The instructions say to avoid using pods or other pre-measured detergents, but that is all we have. So we're going to attempt to take a portion of what's in this pod for our first use of the washer. If you're using regular detergent, you want to use 70% less than the minimal dose recommended. My friend warned me that if you use too much detergent, you'll actually end up with soap suds coming out the top of this. And since I definitely don't want that to happen, I'm really just gonna say a prayer that we get the right dosage here. All right, so. According to this, a regular load is one Tide Pod. Yeah. So, or All Pod or whatever. Yeah, All Pod, yeah. Um, so, since they want 70% less, we're going to put all of this in. Okay. And we're only going to grab 30% or around 30%. I'm just going to take 30% of this. Okay. You guys got to hear this. Okay, so our washing machine sings. Let's go put it to high water level. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh! <gasps> oh, it does sound promising. What sounds? I know, I'm just excited, baby. It's been a rough day. Okay, so it tells you what it's doing. It has a really gentle sound to it. But you can kind of see that there's a leg on the inside. You can see that bluish purple light come on whenever the washer is in the wash or rinse cycle and it's helping to kill the germs and bacteria. We're now in the rinse cycle and I can hear the water draining. I can feel the warm water going through the hose. 
It took 45 minutes for this load to complete and I missed filming the wonderful little song that played when it was done. It's really cute actually. The clothes feel warm. Yes, our boys like Spider-Man. So that's what was one load in the washer. That will not take very long to dry. I was able to get five wash loads done tonight using our new portable washer. Really, I'm super impressed with this. Each of these loads took 45 minutes. On the third load, a sensor went off to let me know that I had hit the maximum capacity. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening, but it's yelling at me. Okay, so that's gonna be all I put in. Maybe that's telling me that I've put too much, weighs too much. I really did not fill it to the full capacity in the first two loads, but the third, fourth, and fifth load, you can see this is really about what you're gonna get if you're expecting to use this washer yourself. We've been able to wash rugs and shoes and blankets. This is my first time doing a lightweight comforter, but I think it's gonna go fine. Do you have any blankets that need to be washed, love? Uh, my... My heart one is kind of wet. Well, do you want to go get it and I'll wash it for you? Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit wet. Okay. Well, let me see if I can go ahead and put this in in the same load with this larger blanket. That would be super handy. Now I'm gonna. I, I, I want to put this in. Okay, you want to put it in? Okay, go ahead. And let's see if the other one will fit as well. Okay, tuck, tuck, tuck. Push it in. Okay, well, so this is super full. And it's done. So here's the blankets inside. They're very warm. And they smell good. I smell them? Yeah, you wanna smell them, babe? Hot. Yeah, it's kinda hot. Yes. Thank you. I put my tall Oakley boots inside of the washer yesterday and this is what they looked like coming out. So I feel kind of silly because I ended up making the washing machine dirty. Definitely this little washer is not aggressive enough to try to get off caked on dirt, which may be very obvious to other people, but I wanted to see for myself. I'll probably end up taking a toothbrush to this instead. Uh, there you go. You can see on this side I've taken one out and that's what the residue looks like behind it. In the maintenance section of the owner's manual, it talks about these lint filters and gives you instructions on how to clean them. So here's what the inside looks like. This one I already dumped out, um, but I've decided I'm gonna try and do this outside in the yard so that I don't clog up any of our sinks. I'm gonna leave these out in the sun to dry and then we'll go clean the inside of the washer. Meanwhile, Chewy has made a home in the sink. <laughs> oh, let's move the toothpaste away. See, if anyone turned on the water just once, he'd probably never come back to this spot again. On page one of the user manual, it shows that as part of the accessories, you should have a bottom cover. We were not able to find the bottom cover initially because it was located between a piece of styrofoam and the lid of the box. I found that back cover piece on the inside of the top of the box. So it, essentially it was wedged behind the styrofoam piece. Before using your washer, you're supposed to attach this bottom cover. We've been able to successfully use the washer for a couple of weeks now without it so I'm not sure that it's actually a necessary piece but we're gonna go ahead and put it on anyway. The bottom cover installation instructions look fairly simple. Here's what the bottom of the washer looks like. So essentially I'm just gonna be sliding this into place. You can see that the opening is actually the same shape as this cover. Well that really couldn't have been simpler. So I'm guessing they go in here. It looks like there are four holes and four fasteners. We'll go ahead and put those in. 
I'm not convinced that I'm going to be able to get these other two fasteners in. The first two went in easily, but it looks like those other holes are just not big enough. And these plastic pieces are actually fairly flimsy, so I feel like if I'm trying to push them too hard, they're definitely gonna break. This picture is kind of vague, but it does look like they provide four clamps, but there's only two lines drawn from a specific clamp to a holding location. I feel like this is secure and in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put the washer back up. I really love this washer. I feel like there literally is no downside to this so far. Sure, it doesn't have the same capacity as the old washer that we had, but it's so much easier to use and troubleshooting is easier as well. Even when the drain hose did come out and water went over the floor, it was so much more manageable than having water coming out the top of a traditional washer. I was able to clean up the floor easily with a couple of towels and then I washed those towels, no problem, we were good to go. Because we are really happy with our smaller washer, we are not gonna be repairing this. We've actually repaired it several times. It's had many issues over the years. The washer is now loaded up and I called the AAA appliance place. They did say that they do take used appliances that are broken and they offer anywhere between 10 and $50 if it's something that they can use. So we're gonna pop over there, see if it's something that we can actually sell to them. And if not, we'll take it to the metal scrap yard. Yay. Yay. Okay, so the guy just checked out our washer and they're offering us $30. We're gonna unload it and head home. So this load of blankets is going to be our first time trying the washing machine with items that are dry. And I'm pretty happy that both the big blanket and your smaller blanket fit into the same load. Yay. Looks like you got a lo lot of lotion on your hands. Ah! 